Hello, my name is Jimmy Allison. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer at Austin Ableton Tutor, and my stage name is Rentac. Hello, everybody. In this video, I'm going to go over various techniques to pull loops and samples from a song. What we want to do is we're going to start off with a warped track. This track has already been warped, and it's actually one of my tracks to avoid any copyright infringement. If you don't know how to warp a track, uh, I'll refer you to my video on track warping. I'm going to show you how to pull a loop and sample out of uh, a song in session view. The first thing I like to do is duplicate the clip. So I have a fresh clip to work on when I'm done editing this first one. So back on the top clip, you can see the waveform and you could see where, depending on what you're looking for, where in the song you might find something usable. So let's just check out this section real quick. <laughs> So that's a nice minimal section. And if you'll notice, my mouse is right below the loop bracket and you can see where it turns into a little speaker. That's basically my cue. So I can play it from anywhere I click. So let's check out another spot. And let's check out the intro. So let's just go ahead and pull out this first eight bars of the intro. And the reason you might do this, you know, of course, uh, sample based hip hop, sample based music are really good reasons. And then also, like, if you want to do a remix, you can go in and pull out different parts of the song. It's called kind of like a renegade remix because you don't really have the stems. You're just pulling what you can out of the tune. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the first eight bars and then right click or command click on the selection it brings up your context menu and then you can choose loop selection or alternatively you can learn the hotkey by looking at what the hotkey is command l on a mac and control l on a pc getting out of the context menu and then using the hotkey which will help commit you the hotkeys to memory which is a very 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 good workflow enhancer and then always make sure you check you want to check the length of the loop, which is eight bars, even, eight, zero, zero. The start position, which is starting on one, 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 which starts on the first beat of the bar. And then also the start position in the tune. And I can actually move the loop bracket around wherever I want. and It'll stay in eight bars. It's really handy. So for now, let's just go ahead and leave it right there at the beginning. And then what I'm going to do is another trick. Let's just pull that little you know, the original down one. And then when I'm going to duplicate the eight bar loop bracket down. And now what I can actually do is just drag the loop bracket down around and place it in spots where I think there might be a good eight bar loop. So let's play it from here. And actually let's trigger the clip that we're on. And if I like that, I can leave that. And then I just duplicate this guy again trigger it and then let's find another spot so this is a quick way you can do this with a four bar loop a two bar loop you know however you want and then once you have a few loops you know what you do with them is up to you you can use them as is and layer some stuff over it or you can use some of the uh slice to midi feature slice to new midi track and we'll do a groove chop where i do a quarter note and i'm going to do built-in zero velocity on the uh, slicing preset and hit OK. And what that'll do is it'll chop it up and load it into a drum rack, kind of like an MPC. It'll give me some various controls that I can use and then I can actually arm the track and play it. And I can use my octave key. So now you see it sounds nothing like the original. It's a really, really awesome, fun thing to do, just chopping up samples, slicing the MIDI. Um, there's various other slice to MIDI features too, which I'll get into in other videos. Another good method is just take the whole sample, we'll get the original, we'll take the whole track and we're just gonna stick it in arrangement view. So I'm gonna sit right at the beginning of the timeline. Let me make sure that's on the one. So let's zoom in on the one right there. And then let's go hit the back to arrangement button. If you'll notice, 
it's faded out right here. So the, so the reason that is, is because session view will override arrangement view. And we were working in session view just a second ago. So now let's click back to arrangement, which will now bring everything into focus. And now what I could do is I'm just going to go ahead and make a few extra audio tracks. So I'm going to, you can right click and bring up your insert audio track, or again, use as your learning tool to learn your hotkey, which means command T. And I'm going to go ahead and do that a few times. And basically what I do now in this method, I'm just going to grab little sections. I can literally grab and just pull it down if I want that section. Let's look for another section in here that might be cool. Uh, let's get to the outro. Yeah, that might be a whole track right there. I'm going to grab that and just drop it out. And I could just go and pull everything down into this other track. And then when I'm done, let's, let's mess with this one. So maybe I just want that. Let's just pull it. So it's a two bar loop. Cool. Now I'm double clicked on the clip to bring up clip view so I can see it. And you'll notice you still see the whole clip. So let's find the spot. I'm going to zoom out and here's the spot we're working on. And I can kind of pretty much do the same thing. A, a quick shortcut. I can like make the selection, loop the selection and make my loop, or I can crop it. Which I'm going to do is basically a consolidate function crops it down to one sample, then all I have to do is turn on the loop bracket. And now it's a looping clip, which then I can drag out just like any other looping clip it has a little tick marks. Or I can bring them back into uh, session view and start working with it. So I can just copy the clip, paste it back. A quick workflow tip here, like maybe I wanna go ahead and use arrangement view to pull all my loops out like I'm doing here. I'm gonna just yank them down make the areas that I want to loop, yank them down. I can select all of these clips, copy them, paste them back to session view, select them all. They'll still be all selected when you paste them. And then I can crop them all. And what that'll do is crop them all down for me, one shot. Now, what would be cool is if you could just turn on, on the loop, but um, that's not gonna work because the loop bracket is still set to the larger clip format. So what we're gonna do instead is let's go back to this one. All you need to do is right click loop selection and then everything will be right. So it's a little extra work. You know, we can do our hot key of course. You just can't quite do it in mass. And then this one, of course, we just got to make the selection because we already made the mistake of, of trying to do it the other way. So now we'll zoom out and in, get this all set. So that's pretty much how you can chop it up. Anyway, my name is Jimmy Allison. Uh, thanks for watching. I teach online Ableton lessons. You can check out my website or uh, just go ahead and contact me for more information.